Is it Thursday morning? It's Thursday morning, isn't it? Yeah. So it's Thursday morning here. We've been starting the harvest. Um, you can see there's some racks at the back. We've already harvested this rack and this rack in the corner here. The mushrooms are all just stacked over here. We're taking about 25 kilos off um, today. Um, and we should get another, you know, 25 kilos off tomorrow. Uh, and we harvested some yesterday as well. Um, so these will all go out. Tomorrow morning, a lot of these will go out. Um, and then a lot of these will go to the farmer's market on the weekend. How much would we take to the farmer's market? We would basically, we could take all of that 25 kilo there and sell all of that at the farmer's market. It's a fairly good farmer's market. But of course we need to, um, <clears throat> we need to harvest some for our regular restaurants that are on board. Um, we've still got a lot to harvest rack there. There's racks still uh, in there, which are going to be harvested. So we've got another big morning of harvesting tomorrow as well. If you are keen to find out more about this, do check out the top pinned comment or the about section in this video. But we just harvest uh, directly into these containers here. Um, harvest them, put the date they've been harvested on there, 27th July. I'm um, a number one, we mark it as a number one. Obviously it's a, a, it's a uh, on the grading, it's a grade one mushroom. And then put a little, um, a little bit of cardboard on top and these will go straight out into our, our chiller, our walk-in chiller, uh, outside, uh, which where they will sit in that chiller. They're all right to sit on the bench out here for a while. It's actually really cold here right now. Um, it's in the low single digits here, so uh, we're still in winter. So if it was warmer, we would uh, harvest these and move them immediately out into our chiller to get those mushrooms uh, as cold as possible, as quick uh, as possible. Here's one which has just been harvested here. So uh, that actually just disappeared. That said 1.12 uh, kilos on it, I think. Um, so we'll usually put about 1.1, 1.2 kilos in them. And that just accounts for a little bit of drying uh, of the mushroom. Uh, they will drop a little bit of weight, a little bit of waste next to it. These are just the off cuts. So they just get cut, placed on the table, and then put in the bin. Of course, all the tables, before we do all the harvesting, all the tables are sanitized. Thursday's our cleaning day. Um, um, you can see the floors here. We go over and clean the floors really heavily uh, every Thursday um, inside the fruiting room and out here as well. So carrying on with the harvest here, you can see we've got a rack of uh, shiitake blocks out. Um, there's one just sitting down there, shiitake block. So we also just harvest these shiitake directly into our containers here. Um, that's about 1.3 kilos of shiitake. What we'll do is we'll just harvest like a pile into a container and then separate them um, uh, into other containers. We, uh, it's our intention to grow more shiitake. You can see how many blocks are on the rack there. There's not a heck of a lot. Um, we are simply bottlenecked by our production capability right now, which we're looking uh, to alleviate um, by how much substrate we can fit in our steriliser. We run it three times a week. We run it at capacity each time. It's about 500 kilos of substrate we're putting through. So we only get through a full run of shiitake, let's say every three weeks. Um, and a full run will be about sort of 80 or 90 blocks. How many blocks are on here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. There's about 30 blocks on that shelf, maybe 35. So a run ideally is about three times that. So what we can do is we can do a run every three weeks. Um, and then every week we take like 30 blocks off. We fruit them. Um, um, and we collect all the shiitake. We have a few restaurants that buy shiitake from us, which is good. We're not actively looking for more uh, restaurants to buy shiitake uh, from us. Um, because we like selling some at the farmer's market too. You can see we've got some more boxes here, and again our boxes over here. Um, um, so this total harvest for today will probably be, including the shiitake, we actually had a, some more oyster come off, so we're up to over 30 kilos of oyster, plus shiitake, you know, we'll probably harvest 40 kilos for the day. For the day. Um, we harvested again, as I said yesterday, and we harvest tomorrow as well. Um, so that'll be a pretty good harvest uh, for the week. We've also got some second flushes. These are all first flushes which we're harvesting today. Throughout the week we harvest second flushes as well. Second flush can be a bit hit and miss on the quality. If the quality is a little bit down, um, we will reserve all our shiitake and take them through uh, to the farmer's market. We don't generally sell them to restaurants uh, as much. And the second flush, um, unless they're really good, sometimes the second flushes are really good. So throughout the week we're harvesting um, second flushes uh, that whole time as well but it's just usually about three days of the week where the big harvest comes in um, we run a really tight schedule for our cropping here so every week 
Um, more bags go in our fruiting room, and every week those bags are harvested, usually over about the same three days, um, and the harvest will look like sort of like this uh, every day. And then throughout the week and on the weekends, there will be um, second flushes being harvested. Sometimes I can be out here on like a Sunday, you know, and harvest like, you know, 15, 20 kilo of second flushes, just pull it out of the room um, again, and that goes straight into our chiller. We can also see our, our mushroom growing kits stacked up here, ready to go. We've got a... Uh, We've got a, 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 an expo on in, uh, in a week, not this weekend, but the following weekend. So those are all going to the expo for us to sell, which are great. We love selling grow kits. But yeah, that's our harvesting for a Thursday uh, morning. The staff come in here and, and crack onto it really soon. If we look in our incubation room, if we look in here, we can see this room's pretty full. It's a pretty chocker. So come in here, we've got these won't be next week. These will be the week after, the week after. Um, the week after, one's back there, those are next week's ones, so this room is relatively full, um, um, yeah I can't, I can go here and here, but that's it, um, so we've actually, we actually, we are tight on incubation space here for our production capability, and down the hallway as well, if we look down the hallway, you can see there's racks lining the hallway, um, racks here too, of stuff incubating, we've got heat pumps in this office area here, so again, if you haven't seen previous videos, we can incubate anywhere. We can incubate down in my office. We can incubate in our incubation room. We can incubate in our lab if we have to, although I don't like to. We like to keep the lab um, fairly, fairly free of, of uh, anything else in there. But we'll go have a look quickly in there, show you why not. So there's our lab here. The heat flow hood's running. Those are all um, blocks. Those are all grow kit blocks ready to be inoculated. Um, that was produced... Um, over the week, that's two, I believe that's two batches there, um, so it's quite a few, but we're just trying to get ahead of the, ahead of the game, all our spawn here, um, and some more grow kits and whatnot. So that's our harvest day, um, the box has really made a difference for us, we have had these boxes made, these boxes are made especially for us, um, when you're growing mushrooms, making boxes is um, something you get used to, we've got boxes everywhere, you can see them in the corner there and stacked on the corner here, like at any one time you know we might have 10,000 boxes on our business on this property for all sorts of different things, for mushroom growing kit boxes, for boxes to put these boxes into, of course our harvesting boxes um, and other boxes for our online sales. We used to harvest into cake boxes that were just off the shelf, these are actually cheaper um, so we just get these custom made for us and they work really really well. So here we are with the walk-in chiller. Um, you can see in here, there's just, it's a bit dark, there's just stacks of mushroom boxes here. So they come straight out to our online chiller. Um, and from here, uh, our, as they're sold, we obviously just come and collect them. We put our label on them and then straight into the van uh, and deliver them. So this chiller gets fairly well filled up pretty quickly, um, but it also gets emptied pretty quickly as we have the orders rolling in.